everyone, I'm JD from Willow Band Journals and before I get into today's video, I just wanted to let you know that I am running a sale in my Etsy shop. So that is store-wide off all my journals and printables and that is 30% off for today and tomorrow. All right, the link is down below to my Etsy shop, Willow Bound Journals. If you are interested in picking up a journal, if you maybe had your eye on one, hopefully this little sale helps you out. Um, and today, what I wanted to let you know was that I am going to relaunch <laughs> the Reflections Journal course. So I did launch this earlier in November, but the day, literally the day that I launched it, I got so sick and I was bedridden for a week. And so I was knocked out, couldn't work, couldn't do any filming, couldn't work on any journal making or crafting and definitely couldn't work on the course. I was planning to be filming all through that week, all the videos for the course, and it just did not happen. So I had to put that on hold. And now that we are in December, I thought this would be a good time to relaunch it. And I'll show you a bit of an update of where I am with this book. So the first time you saw this book, you saw a proper book. I have now altered it. Um, and so this Reflections course is a revamp of a course that I've been running um, for the past few years now at the end of the year where we reflect on the year, where we celebrate it and honour it and there are a whole bunch of different prompts to help us do that. So we look at uh, how we've grown throughout the year, what we've learned, any wisdoms that we've gleaned. Um, we look at the big highlights and milestones and events. We look at some of the challenges and we look at the main memories that we want to document in here. We print our photos and put them in here. And yeah, there's some fun prompts. We look at our word for the year, our quote for the year and things like that. Maybe our scripture for the year or song for the year. Um, and it's just fun documenting it all in one place. In the past, I've used an altered book journal or a junk journal. This year, I'm doing something different and I'm doing um, sort of a mixed media art journal using an altered book. So there are different phases. If you took the um, free faith journal course that I ran earlier this year, it's so similar to that, but a bit more advanced. So we're upping our skills, we're upping our techniques, creative techniques. And basically I wanted to show you like a little look at where it is at the moment. Um, there's different phases. Phase one, we are just gathering our supplies. So I've showed you this in a previous video about gathering supplies. So there's fabric and textiles, stickers, there's tissue paper, pattern paper. I've got my ephemera in these packets here. I've got some letter stickers. I've got a journal to do my note taking and reflective journaling in here before I transfer it into here. And just some other papers and magazine images and off cuts from previous craft projects from the year. The goal for this uh, journal project or course was to use the things from this year in particular um, because we've all accumulated things from this year ephemera from our daily lives uh, pieces from old craft projects scraps as well lots of scraps um, so as we add these pieces to our journal it will automatically reflect this year in a really really fun tangible tangible way and so I've kind of done that already here at the second phase after the gathering is preparing the journal so there's multiple videos in each phase so in the first part or first video for the uh, altering the journal phase we ripped and glued together our pages so we've got some really interesting pages the next part was to do some mark making and just get us started to not have a blank page in front of us to just this will mostly get covered up anyway so it's just to get started to get loose this course is not about being perfect and doing perfect layouts this is a course about uh, getting real and authentic and scrappy and messy and arty and using all the things so you can see i've sewn all these edges on so that was um, well, the next step was to add uh, collage materials. So the first step was the ripping and the gluing. The second step was to add some marks and some paint. The third step was to add some papers. So I added some papers here. And the fourth step was to add some textiles. So I've added textiles to my page. Got some tissue paper added here. 
This one, I love the combination of this. I did mark making, I did paint, I did collage paper, and I love the combination of the bright with the vintage, and there's the sewing on the edge there, and all these pieces, I remember how I used them. So I go through, I take you through in the course how to do this, how to prepare your book, um, and just giving you an idea of how I have got it prepared. I've added some magazine images, some wrapping paper, and I love the rips. I hope you can see that the rips just add so much life to this journal and the layers. So you can see all of this goodness on the sides of the pages. And yeah, I love it. There's flips and things. I love this page too. Really, really cool. And so I finished preparing the journal. The next step is I will be releasing the prompt list and we will be doing more of the reflection and going through the prompts and adding pieces to our journal. And so what I love about this course, it's not page by page. We finish this page and then we finish this page and then it's all put together here and it's all put together there. It's much more organic and we work across multiple pages, filling up the book all at the same time and it just becomes this amazing keepsake, very mixed media. And then the final step is we're going to decorate our cover and that is going to be stunning. We're going to add some metalwork, maybe some beads and some charms some collage of course some paint some gold metallic gold it's going to be wonderful so if you're interested in doing this course i have formed a new way of doing it i've listened to all of your feedback and how i'm going to do this is it's on a separate website where you'll have access to all of those first videos so you'll have access to all of the gathering videos and access to all the preparing the journal videos those will already be up there so you can work through those it's self-paced of course as well and then I will continue to film um, the prompt videos and the reflection videos but this is just to get you started the first two phases are there ready to go so you can get your book ready to the date to where I am here um, and then I will include the prompt list on that website and we'll go through that together adding our wonderful pieces that we have gathered from phase one so um it is going to be since <laughs> i um tried it through the youtube membership um and i think people were like no nope, they want a separate website so i'm doing a separate website and this time it will just be a one-off payment for the course like previous so i am going to offer this at 50 dollars for you guys so I am giving you a big discount. This is valued at over $150. I'm basing that on previous courses that I have taken where it's a similar thing. You get to fill up a whole entire book and alter it and add all the pieces. Um, so I am thinking of all my fellow low income earners, pensioners, uh, people on disability and all that kind of thing. Um, so I hope that that is reasonable, <laughs> uh, $50, um, and that is through PayPal. So all the information will be down below in the description box, and it is in US dollars. All my courses tend to be in US dollars. Everything tends to be in US dollars, but for my Aussies, I'll make one exception for you. It will be in your currency for my fellow Aussies because I know the conversion can be quite extreme. So 50 US dollars or 50 Aussie dollars if you're in Australia. Um, but yeah, like I said, all the information will be down below in the description box. And basically, yeah, to register, PayPal that to my email, and then please email me so that I can send you the link to the course website where you can get started preparing your book. And as I... Uh, go ahead and do the prompts they will go up one at a time so that you aren't overwhelmed with all of the prompts together in one go um, but I, I think I like it doing it this way so that you have all of the first videos so that you can go at your own pace preparing your journal um, and then slowly slowly I'll be adding each of the prompts uh, with the prompt list as well so that is exciting. I hope you have fun gathering your supplies. Honestly, this is like my favorite part of the course is just gathering the supplies and then even preparing the book. Like I sort of feel like even if I did no prompts in here, I love this book. Like this book is just so fun and engaging 
and so fun to look through but yeah as we add our actual pieces and start journaling in here it just gets even more beautiful even more of a treasure and i i love this so much um, so yeah, if you're interested in taking the Reflections Journal course, you can register right now. Um, just check all the information in the description box for that. If you have any questions though, feel free to reach out. Happy to help and walk you through it and all that kind of thing. Um, and if you haven't seen the first video, maybe I should just mention uh, about the book. I got this book from an op shop, so I just thrifted it. I already had it in my stash. Um, and it doesn't have too many pages, so you want something small. Um, by the end, you're going to have about 30 pages, 30 pages to uh, document your year. So you don't want too many pages to start off with, otherwise you'll be ripping out so, so many pages and gluing so many pages together. I mean, you can do it, but to save yourself the trouble, um, if you can find a smaller book, uh, something like this is a great size. Now, it doesn't have to be square. I just was drawn to this shape. It can be like a normal no novel size book um, or whatever shape you want, <laughs> whatever size shape you want. Just not too many pages. Um, but like I said, I take you through the process of how to get it down to 30 pages. Um, and then gesso, gesso for the cover, as you can see, that's just preparing it. And I'm going to paint over this. I'm going to collage over this later on anyway. But just to prepare it, we just had some of our pages as well to get us started. Use white gesso because then it can double as a, like a white paint. Um, so there is also a materials list. Uh, feel free to email me for that as well. Well, if you're registering, I will send you the materials list. Or, well, the materials list is on the website. <laughs> but if you are... Um, what I'm more thinking of is for people who are like, mm, I don't know yet, do I want to do this? Can I do this? Um, do I have the materials to do, do this? Let me know. I can email you that, that materials list. It's also on my Instagram and on my um, community tab of my YouTube channel, but you just might have to scroll down to find it. So if you just want to email me, I can send that to you uh, for you to just decide if this is going to be doable for you. But let me just say you definitely don't have to use all the same materials that I have if you don't have them. You can swap things out, you can use what you have. The heart behind this course, like I said, was to use things that you already have from this year. So preferably the ideal way to do this course is not to have to buy anything. Hopefully you already have a book in your stash. Hopefully you already have, um, you know, papers and scraps that you've used from this year. Um, some people might not have the paint though. Um, I use acrylic paint and gold metallic acrylic paint is something that I will definitely be using in this course. So like some of those supplies you might not have, paint, gesso, um, so you can go ahead and buy those if you want, but you definitely don't have to. Like I have painted some of these pages, but you don't need to paint that if you don't want to. You can just use your collage papers. That is totally, totally okay. And it is for beginners. Um, like I said, it is a bit more advanced than the previous Faith Journal course, but I take you through everything. I walk you through all the steps. I show my process and show you how to do it so beginners can do this, intermediate, advanced, anyone can do this course. I walk you through the whole thing. Um, don't be scared. If you don't have a sewing machine, you don't have to use one. You can definitely just use glue to stick on your fabrics, of course. Um, what else? I do use a typewriter, but if you don't have a typewriter, that's fine. Just use your handwriting. All good. <laughs> um, so I think that's all in terms of like materials. Um, but yeah, if you are wanting to join me and looking back at your year through creativity, through journaling, um, I'm so excited about this because um, it, it will just be like a little summary of my year in this book to remember it by. Um, I can't wait to see what this looks like at the end. <laughs> can't wait to see what the cover looks like. Anyway, hope you are all doing well um, and look forward to doing this course with whoever may join me. <laughs> Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys. A huge thank you to my beautiful patrons who supported me in the month of October. I appreciate you so much. You allow me to do what I do here on YouTube, making journals, teaching journaling courses and running workshops. If you would like to support Willowbound Journals, you can become a patron by clicking the link down below in the description box. Or you can also support my channel by becoming a member of my channel by clicking the join button. 
Uh, so that is where you get access to member videos and all patrons also get access to member videos over on my Patreon. Uh, patrons also get access to the journal making videos as well as printables each month and the Ruby patrons get access to every single printable kit in my Etsy. There are mail tiers as well where I send goodies to you in the mail. So hopefully there is something for everyone who would like to support Willowbound Journals.